According to Global Firepower, it ranked African countries basing on the strength of their military forces. This was majorly based on the number of military serving members, or we'll call it the size of the army, the naval force, size of jet fighters, the annual defense budget plus any other logistics that enable the existence of a strong military force. And also if you didn't know, Africa under the African Union has a peacekeeping mission. This is currently stationed in Somalia and this is called the African Union mission to Somalia. This is basically to enable stability in the Somalia region. So this is the main reason this union or this particular mission was put up to basically ensure peacekeeping around Somalia. And in this video, we bring you the top five African countries with the best military forces on the African continent. And in case you're new here, my name is Ghani and this is the African Meets Show where I spread good vibes about the African continent. So in case you wanna learn more about the African continent and African culture in general, please consider subscribing, turn the bell notification on as well so that whenever I have a new video out, I get you notified. And also at every end of my videos, I share a free Swahili lesson. This is simply because Swahili is the most spoken language on the African continent. So be sure to look out for that. And for all of you, my African viewers, if you would like to start making $10,000 and more per month, we just released a very comprehensive course that will enable you achieve this basically selling products on the Jumia platform. So for more about this, you can check out the description of this video or else you can check the top pinned comment on this very video. The Angola Armed Forces or call it the FAA was created in 1991. This was as a result of an agreement between the Angolan government and the largest militia group in Angola by that time, the UNITA. It's believed that more than 5,000 of these militias were integrated into the national forces to bring an end to a civil war that had crippled Angola for quite a number of years. Today, if we are to speak about the Angolan Armed Forces, they have over 115 rockets and missile launchers. They also have 126 military helicopters, which makes them fall under our top five on this list. The Nigerian military is governed by the Nigerian Army Council. This army has fought quite a number of battles and wars on the African continent and these include the Congo crisis, the Nigerian civil war, the first Liberian civil war, invasion of the Gambia plus so many other wars and battles on the African continent. Probably the most challenging one to them is the Boko Haram insurgency because so many people have lost their lives and basically this has crippled the Nigerian economy to a greater extent. Nigeria currently has over 150 in terms of military personnel and somewhat around 2,000 armored military vehicles. So I believe this is one of the strongest military countries on the African continent. Without a doubt, South Africa is one of the biggest economies on the African continent. The South African Defense Forces is responsible for guarding and protecting South African territorial boundaries and also carrying out retaliatory strikes if need be. It is said that the South African Defense Forces has some of the most brutal trainings when it comes to training the armed forces. And probably that's the reason why South Africa ranks number three on our list today. They currently have close to 90,000 actively serving soldiers and over 2,000 armored vehicles. So this is not something small for an African country.
the Algerian People's National Army has over the years grown strong and stronger in terms of military. For anyone that remembers, I believe it can best be remembered from the 90s through its counter-terrorism tactics as they were trying to fight the jihadist threat that had strongly come upon them so they had to strongly fight off these jihadists and basically make or set themselves free from these jihadists that had come to antagonize their country. Algeria currently has an active force of around 520,000 serving soldiers and when it comes to the budget Algeria has one of the biggest military budgets on the African continent with an annual budget of close to 10 billion US dollars. And in case you didn't know, this translates close to 6% of their gross domestic product. So I believe you now understand how vital they hold their military in the country. You should also know that on the African continent, Algeria is one of the major firearms importer and what they always say is that they are protecting themselves from any external attacks. And finally at number one we have Egypt on the list. Egypt currently has over 100,000 soldiers currently serving in its forces. Among these we have the Air Force, the land forces and the naval forces so they have an all-round coverage when it comes to military so they are able to protect themselves from any external attacks that would basically come to endanger or damage their country. All these Egyptian forces are heavily financed by the Egyptian government plus the American government. It is believed that those are our top five African countries with the best military. But all I can say is that these Western countries or Eastern countries. And for our Swahili lesson for today, it is a word that goes checker. So this is a word that you can use to tell someone to maybe laugh. So if you am telling you laugh, I would say checker. So um, a way of using this word in a sentence, I would say maybe an a checker. So this is basically a translation to mean maybe he's laughing or she's laughing. So that's it. That's our lesson for today. And in case you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also let me know down in the comments how this particular video helped you. And also don't forget to please consider subscribing, turn the bell notification on as well so that whenever I have a new video out, I get you notified. Thank you so much for watching this video. Watch this next one.